Officials have identified the 11-year-old boy who was shot and killed while hunting in Green Lake County. And on the heels of this tragedy, we're also learning more about others who were shot over opening weekend of gun deer season. NBC 15's Michelle Beck joins us now. Michelle, the victim in the hunting season's first fatal shooting was Ethan Tom. Yes, John, the Berlin Area School District said Tom was a sixth grader. And as the DNR previously said, he was in the township of Seneca Sunday morning when he was shot by someone in his hunting party. The DNR says the 41 year old shooter was trying to unload his gun while it was in the back seat of a vehicle. DNR Recreation Warden Supervisor Bob Nealon says the bullet pierced through the car door before it hit Tom. And besides the shooting, Nealon says there were five other non fatal hunting incidents over the weekend, meaning at least five people were shot. Now this falls with Within a declining trend of hunting incidents since a peak in the 1960s. The DNR has since made hunter education and wearing blaze orange mandatory. It's interconnected that the more people are educated, the more they're taking safety into account, the more they uh, take that extra time to think through the processes of what they're doing, whether they're going out on a hunt, how they're going to plan their hiking trip, what they're going to do. Those behaviors that we teach in that education program that's been improving over the years, uh, it's allowing people to make those better decisions. And in a closer look at the numbers, the DNR says there were 264 hunting incidents back in 1966. We'll compare that to last year when there were 12. That's about a 95% drop. Live in the studio, Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News. Thanks, Michelle. The DNR has also previously reported in the last decade the vast majority of shooters and hunting incidents are adults. Youth make up 18% of incidents. The Berlin Area School District Superintendent released a statement on the boy's death saying the district is, quote, heartbroken, adding that support to students and staff will be offered this week.